Hey guys, Donboy61, and today we are taking a look at the all new bureau project ship, the Oklahoma sister ship to the new tech tree ship, the Nevada. Yeah, so we're getting kind of a sister ship, and as a result, a lot of the stats that we're going to go over today are very similar. But first, let's go ahead and talk about unlocking the Oklahoma. The Oklahoma is in the bureau, uh, she's a stars and stripes sort of project. Basically, what that means is along the way you unlock grade one camos for a bunch of American battleships, which you can then apply as permanent camos, which are pretty cool. They have the American Stars and Stripes. Sadly, the last time we had a bureau project like this, we got the California and all of those permanent camos were fully upgraded to like the full four, four and a half percent to dispersion and uh, concealment. Sadly, these are grade ones, but hey, at least we get some sort of unique thing along the way because usually with the Bureau Projects, it's just like a useless booster or so. Anyways, Oklahoma, like we said previously, sister ship to the Nevada. She is an excellent tier four ship and probably going to be my go-to. Uh, we're not going to be commenting too much on the gameplay today. Once we get to the stats, we'll talk. But uh, with all of the American battleships coming out, I didn't feel like it was really necessary to talk through the stats and then bore you because... All of them are very slow, so the games tend to have a lot of downtime, and then I just have to fill dead air. And it's not its not the best viewing experience. So instead, enjoy the gameplay in the background. We'll go, go ahead and go over the stats and then talk about the ship. So first things first, let's go ahead and talk about the commander. We're rocking Sims with the usual Cunningham Sharnhorst accuracy dispersion build. You know the one that pretty much every single person recommends for American battleships. Yeah, we're recommending it too, because guess what? It's probably the best. I'm running turret traverse on this ship, though you could absolutely run, uh, you know, AA mod if you're if the air the new uh, aircraft are getting in your way and the new uh, the new the new carriers are getting on your nerves. AA mod completely understandable to run, but I've been running fighter plane to kind of ward them off, and that's been working fairly decently for me. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive on into the stats. Hit points 49,160 with a minimum armor thickness of 13 millimeters and a max of 457. She does have a 19 inch bow and deck armor, which means she can get overmatched by a lot of the battleships at her tier straight through the deck. So just be warned or also through the bow. She can get, she can get overmatched straight through, but if you angle correctly, you will be fine just because she does have substantially thicker uh, belt armor. So if you can go ahead and get shots to land in that belt, you are going to do fine. 18% torpedo reduction, unique turret, uh, turret traverse, not turret traverse, unique turret distribution, I should say, two two-barreled guns and three and two three-barreled guns, making it this sort of weird Arizona, Texas hybrid sort of gunship thing. It's it's weird, but it is great. Firing range on the ship, 16.3 kilometers which is a half kilometer longer range than the Nevada. Reload time on the ship, 35.7 seconds. Shells per minute, 17 when we uh, do all the fun maths. 180 time on the guns, 42.4 seconds. HE damage, 4,900, 100 less than the Nevada. So you exchange longer range for a little bit less damage. A trade-off I'm absolutely willing to make. DPM on those HE shells, 83,300 with a 27% chance of fire, a 3% reduction from the Nevada. AP damage on the ship, 10,600, which is about a 300 uh, damage decrease from the Nevada and also a slight damage in DPM or a slight reduction in DPM as well as we would expect to 180,200 when firing that AP. Secondaries, well, we have eight one barreled 127 millimeter guns and 10 one barreled 127 millimeter guns both of them have a range of four kilometers the hunt the eight the eight one barrels have a four and a half second reload 1800 damage and a nine percent chance to set fire the 10 one barrels have a seven second reload with 1800 damage and a six percent chance to set fire aa range the same as her sister ship at 4.2 uh, kilometers with the same minimum damage of 58 damage per second but a lower maximum damage so less aa the closer you get to the ship maxing out at only 96 damage per second compared to 114 finally max speed of the ship is 18.6 knots with a turning radius of 610 meters 
Rudder shift time is 14 seconds, which is really good for a uh, for the battleships. And then finally, the concealment with the permanent camo that comes with the ship, since it is a premium ship, 12.4 kilometers, detectability by air, 10.4, and detectability in smoke, 11.3. And those are the stats of the Oklahoma. Once again, very, very similar to uh, its sister ship, the Nevada. So if you like the tech tree ship, Nevada, you are probably going to really like the Oklahoma. Um, the reason I... I really like Oklahoma is because it is a premium ship that can be attained without paying doubloons. Now, currently the, the, uh, bureau project, the quickest way to get it done is if you have Georgia and Florida, both premium ships, Georgia, of course, being this times, this times out campaign ship and Florida being the newest battleship and the one new premium ship introduced for this line. If you have those ships, you will get the bureau project done significantly quicker, but if you're like me before I became a CC, a, a more free to play player, someone who really does tries not to spend too much money on this game, the ability to get a tier four battleship is indispensable. Like the the ability to do the weeklies to get more uh, to get more promotion orders to get those I think it's four extra promotion orders for tier four ships like. Being able to do that uh, just helps that much more when you get into the later games and you're trying to rank up and build up your supplies and trying to rank up commanders. Like having a tier, a premium ship that is tier four is super helpful just to try to start to knock those out and to be able to obtain one for free um, is great. They did give away that hot nick if you did their advent calendar recently um, over this past you know six months ago, but now having the ability in game to have a free tier four. I think is really excellent. So this is going to probably become my go-to tier four ship for my Sunday, Monday, uh, going into certain tiers and clearing out my weeklies. Like this is going to be one of my go-to weekly ships. I really like this ship. It performs really solid. I like the American battleships. It performs just like an American battleship. So if you're looking for an American battleship and you don't currently have a tier four premium, this is free. Go go start the research project right now. They don't have a plan currently to deprecate it, i.e. take it away. They did that with the California. You can no longer get the California. Uh, sadly, in the game, you can no longer get that tier five. But hey, they're at least adding this so you can go and get a tier four. Absolutely go. Um, you know, what's probably going to be, if you're just starting out in this game, what's more useful to you? A, a legendary tier ship that is going to drain your bank account or a tier four that you can absolutely make money on and play regularly and make it a much more profitable ship. I'll let you know, it's going to be the latter. The Oklahoma, if you don't have like a ton of ships unlocked, I know it's very tempting to go research the Yamato, the Kleber, the Worcester, the Conquer. Like, yes, those are very alluring ships and you should want them. But the logical move, the better play for you is going to be to research the Oklahoma. So uh, yeah, get out there, research it. I stopped researching my, my well, I just got Conqueror. So as soon as Conqueror finished, I went into Worcester, researched Worcester for a matter of six hours, and then immediately stopped it once again to restart, to start on Oklahoma while I have uh, Georgia and Florida in my port. And I'll continue to uh, research Oklahoma because it's a fantastic ship. It's probably gonna be my go-to tier four to do my weeklies. Yeah, so guys, that's the Oklahoma. I really like her. Uh, I hope you guys do as well. Once again, I really encourage you guys go out there, start that project. It's a great ship. Uh, if and especially if you don't have the Nevada, it's it's one way to get a little taste of it. Uh, if if you're able to finish the bureau project, though, I don't think you'll be able to by the time Nevada gets out into full circulation. But anyways, guys, this is the Oklahoma. I hope you liked the video. If you did. Go ahead, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I do read all of them. And uh, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. See ya.